on election day, certainly I will. You know how yes. important every single vote is? Pardon? You know how we know it was in this city that the trouble started, and John Hume was one of the leading lights of that trouble, and has remained so throughout the entire campaign that has been waged. He has been against every single thing that has tended to serve the British connection, and I think that he has a great deal to answer for for the condition of our city. Is that the only way forward for this community is by partnership between both of our traditions, between both sections of the people here, that this is the basis on which we should build any system of government. That is our platform, that is the platform for which we are seeking support, that we believe is the only road to peace. Yes, but what has to happen, John Hume, before peace is attained? Well, of course, what we have here is an absence of government, and when you have an absence of government, you don't have peace. You have chaos, you have violence, you have destruction, you have everything that goes with it. Uh, for peace to be attained, one needs a system of government to which the community gives its consent, both sections of it. That system of government can only be one based on partnership. Built into that system of government as well must be a system of law and order, which in addition also has the consent uh, of the community. We are fighting this election, first of all, against British imperialism, to oppose British imperialism, uh, oppose internment, and British harassment in general in the six counties. And now we get and social justice for all concerned, integrated education, an agricultural policy which will be to the benefit of the consumer and the farmer and to the entire community. We maintain the must have an agricultural policy which has got under the control of the farmers, the ICTU, and the working class people involved in that industry we will be taken up seriously. So you aren't taking any position then really for or against the union with Britain, are you? No, as a matter of fact, we will campaign for unity with the working class people of Britain, as we did the last time. And we always do. We consider that SDLP and the unions are absolutely Tory, and they have nothing to offer to the working class people at all. So therefore we could not cooperate with them and we will not come together simply for to keep someone else out. Put William Ross and stop John Hume. First essential is that violence be suppressed, that the IRA be utterly destroyed and that the army be given a free hand to do it. Now, we do, of course, have a great many different opinions on how the army should go about it, but I believe that they're experts and they're doing their best within the limits laid down. I think that to destroy the IRA, we need to destroy the hope of ultimate success that keeps them going. And until that ultimate hope is completely destroyed, they will continue. The only way to destroy that hope is to restore proper government in Northern Ireland, democratic base for it, and as wide a base as possible of all those who favour the Union. Because it is the Union and it is the nationality of the people that live in Northern Ireland that is at stake in this matter. Nothing else matters. Hello, Mr.